All right, let's hit the speed bag. I'm Cassidy Uppert alongside Brian Campbell. And this Saturday, Demetrius Andre looks to defend his 154-pound title against Brian Rose. Brian, how do you see this one playing out? Look, Rose is a solid opponent, but I'm not sure he really has the speed or maybe the craft to stay with Andre in here. But what I want to see out of Demetrius here is a great performance. We've seen him be good. We've seen him take that title. He's got an opportunity here maybe to showcase his skills, maybe to come out on top and announce himself in this division that he's a real player. All right, let's bring in ESPN Boxing Insider Dan Rayfield. And Dan, it's been a week since Richard Schaefer has stepped away from Golden Boy Promotions. So far, what has been the reaction around the sport? Well, Cassidy, it's one of those things that everybody involved in boxing talks about. They ask me all the time, what's going to happen? Who, what fighters does Oscar De La have or under contract? Because so many of those boxers are were with Al Heyman or are with Al Heyman, who was Richard's close associate and had put put them with Golden Boy because of Al. So they ask about that. They ask about, about the potential of lawsuits. They ask about what's Richard Schaefer going to do next? Uh, who's going to run Golden Boy promotions now that he has resigned as a chief executive? We know one thing. Oscar De Loy has vowed to take a more day-to-day uh, -day interest in the company, and Richard Schaefer has offered his resignation. And I think what we're going to see is over the next coming days and weeks and perhaps months, a lot of changes are going to go down to the company, and we're going to see probably some lawsuits on top of that. But we're not really sure exactly what's going to happen yet, and everybody will keep talking about it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that develops. All right, on July 26, a pair of unbeaten heavyweights, Bryant Jennings and Mike Perez, they'll fight in the co-feature of Gennady Golovkin and Danielle Gill on HBO. Brian, what are your initial thoughts on this matchup? Look, really good matchup here. And what you have to love is what you mentioned. Two unbeaten heavyweights putting it on the line and stepping up. You know, clearly we don't see enough of it. The winner's going to put him himself right on the doorstep of a title shot. Both skill guys, both guys that can box, and I think we may see some action come out of this. All right, Dan, you have our Twitter question, and at just Ozzy82 asks, does Miguel Cotto crack the pound-for-pound pound top 10 after his win over Sergio Martinez? Well, we at ESPN.com do a pound-for-pound pound list regularly. It's voted on by a panel. I'm just one vote. But it's coming out this week, and I cast my vote. And for my money, absolutely, Miguel Cotto deserves and belongs in the top 10. He's been there for a long time. He may have slipped out for a time after back-to-back -back losses to Trout and Mayweather. But after the performance he had in October against, granted, a second-tier uh, Delvin Rodriguez, but then the big win Saturday night against Sergio Martinez to win the middleweight title, to make Puerto Rican boxing history, you're looking at a great fighter. He's in my top 10 in Bound, no question about it. Great question by Just Ozzy82. Make sure to tweet your questions to at ESPN Boxing or B Campbell ESPN using the hashtag ESPN Rounds. All right, that's all the time. Thanks to Dan Rayfill and Brian Campbell. I'm Cassidy Hubbard, and we're making the rounds here on ESPN.com.